Hey, honey. You ever you ever heard of Steelheart? Honestly, no. No. Not no. not until now since it was brought up on a request. Well, we're gonna check out a song by Steelheart. But not. Not That's really by Steelheart, though. <laughs> because we now have a new have feature. A new featured feature artist. artist. Featured artist for Thursdays. Aside from Elvis. Aside from Elvis. Tommy Joe Hansen has Woo-hoo! caught our ear. Welcome to the lineup. Welcome to the lineup. Mr. Johansson. Yeah, we um, first heard or him. Or is it Johansson? Oh, could be. So he's Swedish. He's Swedish. So maybe it's yep. Johansson. Yeah. He. Um, my goodness. This is Virginia. Virginia's joining us this for another Tommy. video. You're David. I'm Angie. <laughs> I'm a little bit of everything. I'm a whole lot of rock and roll. Yeah, yeah. We listen to, by request, the Dan Basque Nation. Basque Nation had requested for us to listen to Tommy Johansson. Or Johansson. Or Johansson. Johansson. Last week. And we listened to him doing Phantom of the Opera, and it was fantastic. It was awesome. Yeah. And um, so we've decided we enjoyed that so much, we want to add him to our weekly lineup because he's got a lot of stuff out there. He actually dropped a new video. I've learned every Friday he dropped something new last Friday, but I'm not even close to catching up to last Friday because we've got a lot of other stuff to catch up on. And we have lots of other requests about his music. And this one was requested probably the most of everything. Yep. Um, But before we get to that, please don't forget to... Subscribe. subscribe, like, share, comment down below, ring the bell for notifications. Spank that like button. Oh my gosh. <laughs> yes. You are ridiculous. You didn't know if I was going to be able to keep coming up I'm with. I'm not going to spank anything. Yeah, yeah. So we have, um, we usually show the doggies, usually Harry Blair. He does not like to be far from me and he's usually on my lap. He. But um, when he's not on my lap, he is keeping, yes, you, he is keeping his girlfriend, Virginia Rose Company. Virginia Rose, we've shown our other doggies in our videos. Virginia Rose is usually not in our videos because she is upstairs sleeping. Because she's like 16, 17 years old, and she just wants to sleep and eat, and that's it. That's her life. That's all she wants to do anymore. That's all I want to do. If, 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 <laughs> if she could afford it, she'd be a smoker, just hanging out, chilling, being a nice friendly old lady and talking like or, this or a cranky old lady you don't talking, know she says get off my lawn get off my lawn ah, she's got a new york like accent that. because her mom's from new york that's right she's from new york <laughs> anyway so yeah this was one that was uh highly recommended tommy johansson the name of the song is she's gone it was originally performed by steelheart i'm not familiar with steelheart as much as i am very much in a rock and roll especially uh hair metal glam metal this is just not one that i just missed it i'm familiar with yeah, so I. It really, happens. There's hundreds there's and hundreds of, of bands. There is, oh. and and I'm just can't see them all. I can't see them all. So I, me personally, I don't have anything to compare it to, just because I was not. So it's with just going to be how awesome is Tommy, Tommy Johansson singing yeah, it? And and be, so there was somebody before that was like, "Don't compare Tommy with Dan Bass." Except here's the thing: we first, will. Yeah, we will. Because first of all, they're both it, awesome. They're. Will you stop it? Um, it was people, it was the Basque Nation that recommended Tommy. So they have a mad respect for Tommy. We respect Tommy. Absolutely. Both of these musicians are incredible. They have incredible voices. They have beautiful hair. They have, in, <laughs> they have incredible voices. Um, I know both of them play guitar. I know both of them are in metal bands. Yep. Uh, the reason we compare is because we absolutely love both of them. Yeah. You know, so it's a good comparison. In fact, actually, I had mentioned last week as well in our video that I had compared uh, Tommy also to Meatloaf, and in mm-hmm. the actual like most in highest respect, highest because regards. Meatloaf was also an incredible artist. He was very young when an he started. Performer. How old did I say Tommy is? He's like twenty three or something. He's something like that. Something early twenties, I think. Um, even even if he's in his late twenties, still very young. Mm-hmm. Um, compared to us. Where's my cane? I actually do have a cane upstairs next to my bed because I throw out my back sometimes and I need a cane. Oh my goodness. So, but, um, so the, the comparison is out of respect and because we absolutely love both artists and that's, that's all I have to say about that. That's her story and she's sticking to it. So Fair without enough. further ado, let's go ahead and get into this. Tommy... Johansson or Johansson or whatever. Let us know. Is it Johansson? Johansson? 
Johansson. We don't know. Yeah. But we're going to check it out. Down below. We're going to check it out right now. So, excuse me, without further ado. I do. Three, two, one, action. You just call the action to yourself. Always. I was told he does all the instrumentation in his videos. Thirty-six years old. My bad. Whoa! I thought he was in his early twenties. He looks good. Man, you gave him a. I, I made him young. Yeah. I want to look that young. Huh? You do, baby. He's not that. Thank you. You're gorgeous. I'm like he's not that much younger than me. Right. You can trade me in for a newer model. <laughs> in my life, there's just an empty space. You know what I always find amazing is that you can listen to um, anybody from anywhere singing. And we've we've done this. Dan Vast is what Brazilian. Yes. And um, Tommy, stop, doggy. Tommy is Swedish. Yes. We've Swedish. we've listened to um, Wu Sung. Who's yes. Korean, and we'll listen to these gentlemen, and like, there's no accent when they sing. I mean, even you <laughs> know, even you, you, when there. you listen to you too, when you listen to Bono singing, there's nope. no accent. Like Indeed. everybody from anywhere can sing anything in English, and there's no accent. I knew you were going there. It just it just always blows my mind. Which is interesting. It's an interesting paradigm if you look at it this way. Whenever I meet somebody from say England or France or Italy, I always say, Oh, I really like your accent. And some of the time, not always, but some of the time, they'll be like, Oh, your accent is really fascinating too. And I'm like, We don't have an accent. I don't have an accent. What are you talking about? Yeah. I mean, maybe wondering... some people from the South might, you know, right. some of our some of our people from Texas, y'all. Yeah. They might have an accent, but and, and like New York City. New York has City. An but like yeah, like regular New York City, get a rope. Like yeah, regular <laughs> stuff. Like you don't really. Um, you're a, so I wonder what we sound like to other people. We sound like we're singing all the time because <laughs> we have no accent. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I was getting at. Like we, 
have no accent. We sound like we're singing all the time without the sing-songiness, obviously, but there's nothing distinctive about my accent, I guess, except to maybe You know what? Foreigners. There's people that are watching from other countries. Yeah, I don't know. Comment if you're from another country and you're like... What do we sound like? Do we sound a, weird? You have a distinct accent. It's very... Like, Something like very I love notable. about like the Irish accent. It's very sing songy, and I think it's yes. it's a beautiful accent. Like it's a our, lovely accent, right? It's just gorgeous, and I they, like oh my gosh, anybody could talk to me with an Irish accent and say they could probably be insulting the crap out of me, and I would still think that they sound beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> but like I I feel like an American accent, even though there's different areas of America, but just in but general, most plain American accents I, are I just like me. Like, but what do we sound like? Do we sound like, like we sing have an song-y? accent? Do we sound very choppy? Is it? Well, I'm just wondering. Interesting. What do we sound like to you? Carry on. All right. Sing it, Tommy. I really miss that girl, <laughs> and I missed her accent. <laughs> <laughs> Make me mute your mic. What was that all about, Tommy? <laughs> that was great. Go back. Go back and don't talk over it this time because it was funny, but I want to hear him. My voice to hit that note. Oh. Oh. <laughs> look, look, let's not. Okay, let's you not, can't. You're, you're, you can't. Let's okay. not argue about is better than ew. Oh my god. Is what I'd stop. like. Is what I'd like to see. Stop. I would like stop to with see. The accent. Let me do my bit. <laughs> damn it. We literally just watched something. I'm not going to say what it is at all because I don't want to go anywhere, but we watched something and somebody was doing a fake accent and it was driving you crazy. So. Do you remember that? It was like, it was literally yesterday. Look, <laughs> was... look, anybody that's seen Search for the Holy Grail would oh, get I didn't, my I didn't reference. Oh, I know you were going there. 
Okay. Let's not argue about who killed who. All right. All right. Anyways. What I was going to say is, let's not argue about who's better than who, because oh. Dan Vask and Tommy uh, both, and Johansson are both incredible, and what I would like to see incredible. Them together. is a collab. <gasps> see them tackle something together. Oh. Something amazing. Oh, my gosh. I don't Do think... it. Do it. I Do it. I don't think the internet let alone the world could handle that i don't think our soundboards can handle it <laughs> right holy <laughs> i don't think cannoli. my i don't think my headphones can handle it that'd, i think that'd be my insane. eardrums would be like I, it, it, it was a cool song super cool it was very slow but did, you have to be in the mood to be in a for slow music i did kind of remember it uh, I, I it's, didn't a, remember it's a good it it's a good breakup song i didn't remember it song. at all um but you want to take the thing no, no i really like having that there i really really do <laughs> um yeah it, it was I, it, of course him singing it was fantastic um I, I i love that his sense of humor poked through in there that yeah. was great it was, it's character. nice to Getting see to the, know him. yeah it's nice to see the personality in there Getting that was fantastic um, that's one thing that we love about dan vask is like we've gotten over all of the the video catalog that we've done of his so far We've gotten to learn his personality and get to know him a little bit more. And, there's ones and so that, it's kind of cool that we're getting to know yeah. Tommy as well. There's ones that we haven't even put up of Dan Vass that I've just watched on the side where like he had done the national <gasps> anthem. Listen, he had done the national anthem, and then I guess some people got mad about it. And then he did a, a, a video after that to um, apologize. Except was, he didn't. Except it was hilarious. So I love seeing their personalities oh, oh, oh. shine through as well. That's it's, it's, like you said. It's nice to get to know them. Yes. Um. To, and that's to anybody. Like we know about Elvis. We know about Freddie Mercury. We know about Michael Jackson. But these these newer to us gentlemen that are not as known to us. It's it's nice to get to know them now. Um. Something I think we forgot to mention at the very beginning is we are doing a live stream this coming Saturday, November the 18th, 2023 at 3 p.m. Arizona time. If you would like to join us, um, we would love to have you. We're going to do a little Q&A session and maybe even watch something together. Maybe it'll be Tommy. We'll see. I don't know. See what kind of requests we get. And, yeah. You know, sometimes, you know, some of the live streams that I've seen where people get in and do requests and stuff like that, people will throw throw out a super thanks or a super chat or whatever in the middle and be like, hey, you know, um, blah, blah, blah. Can you react to yada, yada, yada? And we might do it right then. We might do it right then it and there. It just might happen. We'll yeah. see. It's going to be crazy. We don't know what we're going to do. It's we don't know. Just like our videos, it's completely <laughs> unscripted, and we don't know what's going to come out of our mouths. Oh, man. <laughs> I had a script right here, but you wouldn't read it. No, I'm just kidding. There's no script. The only thing in front of me is... No script. Off I, the rip. No, it's just a calendar of our videos so he knows when to drop them. There's a <laughs> there's a reactor that I watch named Cliff Beats, and he always starts off his videos. He says, no script, off the rip. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's how we, 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 that's how no, we roll. We're just we roll. whatever. We We're don't know what's going to happen. Out. We don't know what's <laughs> happening. All right. Well, until next time, and keep in mind that Tommy will be on... Thursdays. Thursdays is going to be Tommy so, Thursday. So you can see more Tommy on Thursdays or maybe this Saturday. Maybe this Saturday. Come check it out. Until next Until time. Until then, peace. Rock on.